Iron Bull. It's just what I you know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Y yeah, I agree. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. <laughs> Not wrong. Good to see you, boss. Okay, is that it? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you. One of the best companions, and you have like nothing. Have you seen otherwise? I guess it's fine. Oh, uh, right, I have to go this way. You happier with the champion off with the wardens? There were wardens in Kirkwall, too. Oh, here, see we go. No, it's better you not know. Sure. Yes, sir. Let that wait be mine. Yes, let it. You? I can't tell. Oh no, you're wearing Inquisition stuff. Um. Sarah. Sarah? One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Briana. The Duchess! And Carissa! Right in the dangle bag. Remind me not to get you mad. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one Empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. Earwigs. That's stoppable. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things. With their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. Fair. We patched their spat, Briala and the Selene. But without their breakup, none of it would have happened like that. There. Yeah, the mistakes did make it worse. <laughs> that was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Deal. Um. <laughs> Stuck on you. Cool. You got anything? Why didn't I actually finish talking to Sarah, I guess? I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Did you like the masks? What did you think of the masks? What masks? The masks. Everyone had them on their faces. Those weren't their faces. Cole, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Hey, Air. Of course you're hanging Cleaning out with Cole. Continue when your duties allow. I was gonna say, of course you're hanging out with Cole. To be honest. Uh, Sarah, do you have any little conversations? I doubt it. Boop. Back, yeah. Always good. Uh. Investigate. No. Carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. You just have a bone on your shelf. Okay. Hey. Go there. Ooh. There we go. Colin. I need to talk to you. One more. He may have been transferred to another circle. I know it isn't much to go on. I will let Sister Leliana know. Wait. I may have a few more names. Colin? Cool. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing. I know what the game entails. But the indifference to it all. I know what you mean. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. The Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. 
The Empress rules a country. The Divine influences half a continent. Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. <laughs> That's all. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. I'm sorry, Cole. Or Colin. You definitely did not get the good experience. I know I jumped over to my death multiple times. There's really no good re good reason for me to not do it this time. Yeah, here we are. Hey. Um. Can see. Ooh. Um. Yes. Yes. I still don't know about that. Go through the armor and stuff afterwards. Like, well, I have a quest for you. Suddenly, it's dark and gloomy. Want to drink? I've a hankering for company. Not the most cheerful bunch, eh? Guess it's the flirty option, so I'm liking the tormented look. You're brooding. I am not. I like brooding. I was thinking about when we went to the ruin. When we found the badge. Everything seemed clear then. Like I could do anything with you at my side. Anything. That's a hard word, you know. Means a lot. I've been thinking about that actually, but that was more in the contrast of... Um... Like, those grey aligned characters are like, I'm capable of anything. And it's like, okay, what does that mean? Because usually that means, like, going to the most immoral options, but that also means going to the most moral options, but... That's not what he means here. Um... Let's go somewhere private. You mean a lot. Let's get out of here. Have we already had the sex scene? Probably not. Clearly not. Okay, guys, that is barely private. You need to know that I'm not worthy of you. You keep saying There's that. There's no future for us with me as a warden. I want to share your burn. I'm here for you, no matter what comes. Then for now, let there be nothing else. No one else. Just you and me. Guys, really, this is not private. <laughs> Although I guess we should also question why does Blackwall sleep in the barn? I guess at least this way it'll be like, hey, come come and not sleep in the barn. Maybe actually sleep inside the giant castle that has plenty of room. I was gonna say, do we not get a... Like, literally everything is open. People definitely hurt you. Oh wow, those are boobs. I have to cover those. Black hole, what did you do? I forgot this game showed boobs. I thought they were always very clever at not... Uh... Revealing them. I am clearly wrong. I should look around. 
Message from Blackwall. There's little I can say that will ease up this pain. Just know that while it hurt to leave, it won't would have hurt more if I stayed. I am deeply sorry. Blackwall. I am going to murder you. Ah! Can't fix. Oh no! Hi. It's looking for you. The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. I knew something was wrong. When we were together, he seemed troubled. I should have seen this coming. Here. I have something that may help. Sister Leliana had us search the warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Crumble report. A crumble sheet of paper. It looks like it was removed from a recent report to Sister Liliana. Lieutenant Cyril Morney was one of the soldiers responsible for the Calia massacre of 937 and was captured in Leeds. Like the others who were arrested for their involvement, Morney insists that he did not know who he was assassinating, that he was just following the orders of his captain. This captain, Tom Rainier, is still at large. Morney is to be executed within the week in Valerio. This will probably do next session, because we still have companions to go talk to. know what you're talking about and what perspective you're talking from. Do you have something anything new? Probably not, but Inquisitor. Yeah, no, didn't think so. Yeah, sure forgot this game showed boobs. Oh well, did this change? Since we technically did a story? Um Empress Selene, unconquered. The Empress Selene has proven beyond doubt that she is the rightful ruler of Orlais. The usurper, Grand Duke Gaspar de Calonne, met his downfall in Calonne Cheval, heralding the end of the War of the Alliance. With Gaspar defeated, the Empress' reign will continue unchallenged as she carries Orlais into a golden age. All hail Selene, long may she reign, cry rebellions. Grey Wardens declare support for Inquisition. Following the destruction of the Temple, Temple of Sacred Ashes and the opening of the breach, all efforts to locate the Grey Wardens failed. Too many, too many, the disappearance of this noble order was yet another ill omen. However, thanks to the efforts of the Inquisition, the Grey Wardens have returned. It appears they were gathered at the Fortress of Adamant in the Western Approaches. According to Inquisition representatives, Grey Wardens were focused on their own solutions to the crisis facing Thetis. After convening at Adamant, the Grey Wardens and the Inquisition entered an alliance wherein the Grey Wardens will support the Inquisition in the war against Corpheus. Haven destroyed, yeah. We definitely read that one. Not sure we read the Great War. Not good at stairs today. Come on, up the stairs. Thank you. Beric! Beric? There you go. Beric, let me speak to you. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Um, personal questions? Anything Can I ask you something, Var? You want to talk about me? Nope. I'm flattered. Okay, okay so nothing really new. To you. Inquisitor. Um. I should, I should not do. War table next. I should come out here. Talk to everyone in here. Uh, Solus. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao. I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. I'm glad you liked it. I did not bring you. I'm pleased you had a good time. 
Political gambits, broken promises, half-truths. It is a palace full of motivation. And motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally. And Briala as well, thanks to your efforts on her behalf. Good afternoon. Okay, no more with you. We'll talk Bye. later. I just realized the one that probably would have got me approval is like, you've done this before, mate? Wait, why is there two? Stairs. Door? The door of the other thing? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Meh. These stairs I can't fall off of. Dorian! Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. Saving the day, reconciling lovers, mediating a civil war. So sugary, it's nauseating. All this dancing, politics, and murder. Ah, makes me a bit homesick. Ah, uh, happy I could help. Happy to oblige. A taste of home, just for you. Not just for me. Fun for the whole family. Perhaps I should have invited some. We were there. That's what counts. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. It's fascinating. <laughs> okay, bye. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. Why do you want to help me kill people? Okay, yeah. I should go. You know where I'll be. With your books. Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't killed any creatures since I've come back. Liliana! You're definitely going to have a cutscene. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... What do you want? Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. You could abandon ship. No one would fault you for abandoning ship, you know. Out of the ship and straight into the sea. You think Fadus hates mages now? If the Chantry falls, don't you think the people will blame magic? Look at all that's happened. Kirkwall's Chantry, the war, the breach. Mages are always involved. Without the Chantry to guide, that hatred will spiral out of control. Mm. I was trying to take a drink, but I got distracted by a fruit fly that was deciding to try to make home on top of my can. Um, I was glaring you down. <laughs> so little faith in people. But, yeah... People suck. That would be bad. No. We don't want that. And the Chantry can see that it doesn't happen. The people are sheep, Inquisitor. They need to follow. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. 